Hello everybody. So a couple of days now I make some work on graphitic carbon nitrate. Uh, in my last video I make some graphitic carbon nitrate which was impregnated on carbon felt. But right now at this moment I make some further work to improve this graffiti carbon nitrate which was impregnated on carbon felt. Uh, but this process which I do right now uh, takes really really long time and it's really really boring to sit here and do nothing. That's why I was thinking to grab some materials together and I was trying to build some batteries. So one of the main reasons why I'm so interested into graffiti carbon nitrate is definitely uh, I want to see how this graffiti carbon nitrate which was impregnated on carbon felt uh, work on some metal uh, hydrogen battery. But like I said, my main samples of this graffiti carbon nitrate uh, are in the process right now to improve even further. That's why in the meantime I was building this battery. And actually this, this battery is not so bad after all, I really don't know if this battery have some potential or not, because this battery I make right now at this moment. Uh, but I make several cycles and this battery performs really nice. So first of all, the voltage. The voltage looks really, really interesting. So right now, this battery sit here for, I don't know, 20 minutes, something like this. And have the voltage of two volts. So these two volts are actually really stable two volts. I charge this battery with, with, uh, 2.4 volts uh, when I disconnect uh, when I disconnect my power supply the voltage was 2.1 volt and yeah at this moment the battery is sitting on 2 volts so the power of this battery is not so special because uh, this one put out 200 milliamps but this battery have enough energy to run this LED with no problem so actually this this uh, LED is some 3 watt LED But this LED takes from this cell uh, around 60 milliamps. So this is my power supply, I can disconnect. And yeah, it's really, really nice. And the actual construction of this battery is on the top I have the positive electrode. Uh, this one is the current collector, which is some graph oil. Uh, this is some carbon felt. Uh, this one I use for the positive active material. But this carbon felt is, uh, uh, is annealed by temperature. Uh, if you want to see how I make this one, I have some video on my Patreon. Uh, the link will be also in the description. So, usually this one is some ordinary carbon felt, but was annealed by the temperature. Uh, the electrolyte is 3 mole of manganese sulfate and 5 to 6 drops of concentrated 
concentrated uh, sulfuric acid. The separator, the separator is some standard uh, toilet paper and the negative, the negative uh, carbon felt is this. So this uh, carbon felt is impregnated with graphitic carbon nitrate. Because, like I said before, uh, one of my main reasons why I play with graffiti carbon nitrate is to see how it will perform in some metal, uh, metal hydrogen battery. And all this setup is for this manganese hydrogen battery. But instead of using some neutral current collector like carbon, uh, I use zinc. So instead of using some carbon, uh, carbon current collector, I use zinc. So the zinc is the negative current collector. So if I repeat myself, uh, what is the construction of this battery? So for the negative current collector, I use some zinc. On this zinc, I put some carbon felt, which was impregnated with graphite carbon nitrate. For the separator, I use some ordinary toilet paper. The electrolyte is made from uh, 3 mol of manganese sulfate and 6 drops, uh, six drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. And for the positive a positive active material uh, I use this carbon felt but this carbon felt was uh, annealed by the temperature and on the top my positive current collector which is in basic some graph oil So the battery is under charge right now. Now I will disconnect my power supply and right now I get one, I mean 2.1 volts. Really nice. So in basic, the construction of this battery is almost the same like, like manganese hydrogen battery. Some time ago I made my first uh, manganese hydrogen battery. Uh, the link will be in the description if you want to see. Uh, but on this one, I mean the construction is almost the same. But instead of using neutral, uh, neutral uh, current collector for the negative electrode, I use zinc. Oh, and also on this one, I use some graphitic felt, which was impregnated with graffiti carbon nitrate for uh, the negative active material. So, if you want to see how I make my first manganese hydrogen battery, the link will be in the description. If you want to see how I impregnate uh, carbon felt with graffiti carbon nitrate, the link will also be in the description. And also, if you want to see how I make this carbon felt, which was uh, annealed by temperature, uh, the link will be also in the description. But this link will be to my Patreon. So, indeed, this one is really interesting battery. So, the manganese hydrogen battery have the voltage of 1.4 volts and this one have 2 volts so I don't know what I will get on this battery in the future uh, but definitely looks really promising 
for now. <laughs> so guys, that's it for now. And yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye.